Right, so setup wise, like I say, from lesson one, really, really good sort of changes you made there now in terms of kind of the, the posture, the grip you're making now, the lines you're making with sort of the arms and the setup. Yeah. In both cases, very, very good. Yeah. Your grip now to me, again, that's probably slightly on the stronger side. So yeah. we sort of look at the, the right shoulder being kind of your neutral spot. So your left hand is slightly strong, your right hand is neutral, but you're not someone who's snap hooking it left. So then, fine. If you were snap hooking, I might say, well, your left hand's a bit strong, though. You might just neutralise off that a little bit or find a way to sort of stop the snap hook if we can do. But at the moment now, your bad shot generally is more of a slight leak out to the right as the clubs get longer. As we'll see on here now, again, because your posture is better now, you're able to move and rotate better. Sometimes in the swing, we see your foot gets a little bit unstable. So we want to try and swing into that right heel. We want to be sort of sliding or lifting, as you said, in one of the swings you felt losing your balance. So if there's an instability there in your lower half, it's very hard to swing on the way down with any kind of control. So as you came through the golf ball, you came through the golf ball here now, pulling the arms in. You see that left elbow now pulling in yeah. and around here now and looking very sort of tucked up and yeah. pulled in. Whereas this one here now, there we go. This one here now, again, same. This is a shorter backswing, okay? But as you came through the golf ball here now, again, good release of that club. Your arm, now your left arm looking a bit further away. There's a bit more extension. And through the ball here now, it looks like there's a bit more width in terms of your arms up here now as well. And then sometimes your swing did look a bit cramped and a bit tight, handled by your head. And as you said, you feel that difference with your shoulder and your arm there kind of coming through how it feels and it's that sensation as I was just sort of shaking hands to the target so sort of post impact here could you be a little bit more released yeah. you could be yeah. but again as always you're never going to go from where you work click your fingers and be there it's yeah. got to gradually sort of tip over bit by bit yeah. and again you're actually in some shot, shape of shots with a nice little right to left shape anyway so you could argue with your neutral your grip and that movement that release at the moment is nearish to where it needs to be yeah, yeah. If you start doing it too much, you might start overly drawing it. So it's finding that pattern. And this, I think, look at your ball flight and see what the ball's doing. Let that tell you what you're doing. If your golf ball, if we're sort of, let's sort of do some quick thing. If your golf ball is there and it's curving like that, your club face is open. Yeah? Yeah. If your ball then starts this way and curves that way, you're swinging across the ball with your arms yeah. to start it left, but it's then curving even further right. What we want to see is a golf ball kind of going that way yeah. or that way more, okay? And if it's still in that right to left shape or a straighter shape of shots, so it's almost just flying pretty straight, then your club face is square. If it curves off to the right, you may think, I'm sure, I'm sure I did it. Well, you may have done it, but you may have done it, if we look at this video here, you may have done it here. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. The ball, the information is going to be given to that golf ball as we come back to impact there. So definitely some progress there with the setup. As I say, generally speaking, I'll say setup changes are quicker in terms of their adjustments because it's just like, okay, do this, yeah, done, do this, yeah. It feels a bit strange, but it's yeah. quite quick. Backswing movements and changes there take a little bit longer. Impact and release ones do take a lot longer because yeah. it's more instinct. You're going yeah. against kind of what your brain says yeah. it needs to do. But yeah, if you can focus on that release of that club through the golf ball here now and how your arms are going to swing through. And that's going to be the same for all shots. And I think we'll look at some of these shorts just to finish off with now. When you're swinging the club through for these shorter shots, if you're in a 50-yard shot now, your chest is still going to finish here. It's the arm just finish here, yeah? yeah? It doesn't mean you swing the body less, yeah? So you're still always turning your body and releasing it fully. You just control what the arms do. Okay? Yeah. Good stuff, right.